guys, it's Chelsea from Little Mountain Ranch. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about ways that we save money here on our homestead. One of the biggest ways that we save money is by buying secondhand, and one of the other ways is by reusing as much as possible. About, I think, six months ago or so, maybe a little bit longer, I shared with you our pantry, our new pantry that Dan and I built, mostly Dan and also about how we had reused lumber from one of the old buildings on our property to build that beautiful pantry. And prior to doing that, I had absolutely no idea that you could take old wood. Um, one of the buildings that we took down was built in the 1920s, 1930s, somewhere in that range, and it looked completely destroyed, like it should just go into a burn pile, and I had no idea you could take wood like that and turn it into the beautiful wood that you can see in our pantry. The big project that we need to do in our house. Our house was built in the 1970s and it needs a lot of updating. And one of the things that we decided to do was to open up the staircase that goes upstairs and um, completely redo it. It was a very closed kind of um, hallway style staircase and wasn't very attractive and we just really liked the open concept. So we've taken out all the walls and everything and we have decided to use some old wood from our property to rebuild that staircase. And I'm super excited about it because I think it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. I, I thought it would be fun to take you with us as we go through this project so that you can see how we repurpose this old wood, the place that we're taking it from, and then how we convert it into a beautiful staircase. Neither Dan or I have a huge amount of woodworking experience. Um, just a little bit here and there, the pantry build was probably our biggest foray into carpentry outside of basic two by four construction. Um, this was our first foray into that. So there's gonna be a lot of learning that goes along with it, but I thought it might be helpful for you guys to see that and also to see how you can take what I'm about to show you and turn it into something really beautiful. Before we do that, for all of you animal lovers out there, I wanted to introduce you on our way down to where I'm gonna be removing the wood to build these stairs from. I wanted to show you um, some of the new animals that we have here on the property. So just one sec, I've got one here in the barn. Look at this little cutie. This is the cutest thing. Doesn't even look real, it looks like a teddy bear. This is a lion head rabbit and our neighbors um, bred lion head rabbits for a while and they have actually decided to go into lop rabbits so they asked if our kids would like two of these little rabbits. So we have one black one and then this little one and she's so cute. So we also have a male who is a lion head cross with a Rex, I think, and we may consider doing a couple of breedings with them so that the kids can experiment with running their own little farm businesses and selling them as pet, they'll just be pet stock. During the really cold snap that we had, the kids brought them in the house so they became super, super friendly. The one thing about these lionhead rabbits is as you can see here, they do tend to get their fur matted a little bit so you actually need to brush them out quite a bit but they're really cute and super friendly. They're so cute. Okay, we'll head over and I'll show you some of the other animals that we have on our property that my kids are probably the most excited about, especially the girls. My girls have been wanting ponies for ever, probably since we bought this property. And we do have two quarter horses, but for my girls, my little ones especially, they're a bit large and intimidating and we thought that ponies would be a great way for them to be able to get super comfortable with horses in a little bit of a safer way. And our neighbors have ponies and that's actually how the kids in the neighborhood get around for the most part. So my kids are super excited about being able to ride their ponies over to the neighbors. This little girl here is Freya. She's so sweet. She is a Shetland. And this little one here, she is a Welsh cross and her name is Moonstorm. And she is just the sweetest thing. I wanted the girls to make friends with them first. So for the last couple of weeks, they've been coming down every day and brushing them and just being with them. And once the um, snow is all melted and the ground is a bit more dry, we'll be bringing them out to start riding them and they cannot wait for that day. Hey buddy. Albus. First thing about this time of year is the copious amounts of mud everywhere 
and all of the poop that comes up from underneath the snow. In the winter time, it can look so clean. And then as soon as it melts, it looks like that. <laughs> it's awful. We have to wait till it's completely melted and dry before we can get the tractors in here to get it all cleaned out. I love this time of year because it means that planting out in the garden season is coming quickly, but it sure isn't the prettiest time of year in this area, that is for sure. Okay, so what you can see behind me here is an old, of course, hair in my mouth, oof, is an old um, cattle sorting area. And we actually had contemplated kind of back and forth over the last couple of years whether we would just leave this here because we do have a long-term goal of having a larger herd of Angus cattle. But we know that's gonna be a few years away from now. And by the time that happens, this is gonna be so decrepit and falling over, we're probably just gonna end up having to rebuild it anyway. We also have a smaller sorting area that's up by the barn that we'll be able to use for the number of cattle that we are going to have. So the plan is, as you can see in behind this fence, it's all actually open. That was all a solid wall of wood up until a couple of days ago when we took all that wood down. I know this doesn't look like much. It looks like an old gate that should be taken down and probably burned, but you would not believe how beautiful this wood is gonna look by the time we are done with it. And on this, there are also these big, beautiful beams right here that we have some cool ideas for for either um, using on our deck to make an arbor or to be able to actually use as just sort of faux supports. They'll be more decorative um, for in the house, but we'll be able to repurpose just about all of this wood into staircases, shelving for the kitchen, shelving for the family room, all sorts of places. And what I think is really cool about this is we are going to be taking this, which is part of the history of this ranch, and reusing it so that it'll give it a second life. These big giant beams here, huge ones, Dan has a couple of ideas of what to do with those, so he'll be pulling those right out of the ground. And then our plan for this actual space, whoa, the snow is probably two feet deep here. Just one second. One of the downsides with living on a mountainside is most of our property is sloped. This area right here, where this cattle sorting area is, is the only really flat spot on our property. And we have this idea of building a riding arena for the kids to be able to have their horses and use in the summertime, and then in the winter time to have it as a skating rink. Our fields way out here actually flooded this year, and the kids were able to skate on their all winter long up until the snow started to get too deep and they had so much fun so we really want to put a skating rink here so once this area is completely cleared and we have taken all the wood that we think that we can use then Dan's going to come in here with the bulldozer level it out and we're going to build the skating or the riding arena and the skating rink for this summer which is so exciting okay now if I can back get back through this crazy snow um, I'll take you up to the shop and I'll show you what we had done so far and then we'll head up to the house and I'll show you what or where the staircase actually is and what we're going to be doing up there. Hey boy, what you doing? Are you being silly? You can't come down here can you? I'm too far away. Hi buddy. Do you want me to come out? Do you want me to come out? You'd think you were a puppy or something. Why are you being so silly? Come on. Come on. This pile of wood that's back here is wood that we have already removed from that cattle sorting pen. And we have it in here so that it can have a chance to acclimate a little bit. From everything I've been able to tell, and maybe one of you knows more of the, about this than we do, is that it's gonna take about a week after we get it all cut and put into the house for it to be ready to actually use. Um, so we're gonna bring it in like this once it's all cut. And then once it has had a chance to totally dry, then we're gonna bring it back out to the shop and get it all planed and all cut to size perfectly for what we need it for. And then we will build the staircase. So it's probably going to be a two week um, process from now before we're actually at the point of putting the staircase together. But I am so, so excited about this. So now we'll go up to the house and I'll show you what we're actually doing. Just to give you a quick idea of the amount of money that we're saving, um, once we put together all of the lumber that we would need for the banister and the stair treads and all of the decorative features that we're gonna be putting on it, it was close to $2,000. 
So we're gonna be saving that much. The only thing that we need to buy is a little bit of drywall. I think some of the screws for putting in everything and the stain to finish it up afterwards. And maybe you don't have old fences or buildings on your property, but chances are somebody in your area does and wouldn't mind if you came and cleaned it all up for them. Dan and I have more than once over the years stopped by, hi Cypress, stopped by um, places that have had say, especially things like old machinery that we've just noticed has been sitting in someone's yard for a couple of years and just asked if they're interested in selling it or trading it or whatever. And more times than not, people have been. So, but it's so worth it. And oftentimes you can actually be relieving other people of something that they just didn't know what to do with. All right, so we're back in the house and this is the staircase that I'm talking about. So there was a wall that went along this side that we've removed because we wanted it to be open and then the stairs to go downstairs are over there. So our plan is to remove this and build it all with that wood that I showed you and then to build the railing for here. And we haven't quite decided what we're gonna do on the bottom if we're just gonna do a railing straight across it, whether we're gonna drywall that area. Again, we're not entirely sure about that but that is where all this wood is gonna go and I can hardly wait. I tore all of this out. How long ago was it now that I tore all this out? It was just about a year ago <laughs> that I tore all this out. It let us kind of live with this for a while and get a really clear vision of what we wanna do. And like I mentioned, neither Dan or I are woodworkers, so um, we just really had to play around with it to figure out what we're gonna do, but I cannot wait to show you. On that note, Dan and I are gonna head down to the shop and get all of that wood cut up and get it brought up here so that it can acclimate and we can actually get this built. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.